Hey everyone, Lancelot Archer here and today is Friday which means it's Zer Day today and so if you can see here Zer is back in the tower this week and he is in the tower plaza opposite these guys. So you've got the Hunter Vanguard, Titan Vanguard and the Warlock Vanguard. Right, so let's see what he's got this week. Radio. Alright, so he has the Legacy Engram for Boots. That's 29 strange coins, so they've dropped it by 3, which is good, I guess. Um, okay, next we have the Glass House. This is a Titan helmet. Rocking pure intellect this time round, max of 89. Uh, blessing of light and weapons of light last longer. Gain uh, bonus super energy on grenade kills. Replenish health when pick up an orb. Alright, so this is the helmet where if you're playing a Defender class Titan, and you pop your bubble and you've got your blessing and weapons and lights on this just makes it last longer I'm not sure the exact time of how much longer it lasts but you'll notice a significant difference of how much it lasts longer as well um, so obviously if you're running it with I forget the name of the perk but there's a perk where you can have the titan bubble take more damage and produce more orbs so obviously if you're spamming the bubble to get more orbs this will help out so this is more of a, this was more of a, a raid helmet when we used it back in year two I believe when it first dropped so it's not a bad thing to have I mean if obviously if you're playing defender and you're using it to help gen orbs it's not bad um, but obviously with the way defender type bubbles are now I think they take less damage and I think they don't they don't last as long anymore but you know it's still a fairly decent helmet so you know grab it if you haven't got it next we have the graviton forfeit the hunter one so this is a Intellect Strength 1, 64-65. It's actually a really good roll on that helmet, I believe. If I remember correctly, 64-65 is pretty decent for the Intellect Strength roll. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good one. Um, but yeah, if you're uncertain yourself, um, double check on DIM. It will obviously tell you the exact uh, rating, tier rating, as I say, on the helmet, and it will give you a heads up. But I'm pretty sure 64-65 this, split this way is a fairly, fairly good one. But yeah, so for those you don't know, or those you probably do know, this is the helmet that grants Shade Step. Um, also has more super energy from non-guarding kills, and replenish health when you pick up an orb. So as many of you know, many people in the Crucible run around this, and there is just nothing but Shade Steppers on all hunters. So this is essentially the helmet that gave you... Well, I say not gave you, but this is the one that I've seen most people run around with in the Crucible. So you'll see it in most of the people use it in trials, they will just use it to get the free shade step, but also then have other one perks, other perks open, like maybe Keen Scout that they will keep open. So obviously when playing trials it gives them the option to track you as well. But yeah, so this helmet is for sale as well this week, so get that if you want. So as far as I'm aware, this should be a very good roll in terms of uh, perks and stats. Alright, so next we have the Claws of Ahamkara, this is for the Warlock. This is the gauntlet that allows you to have an extra dish, uh, an extra melee. This one's rocking strength purely, so it maxes out 81. So as I said before, give an additional melee charge, increase melee attack speed, and increase reload speed of pulse rifles. So this one is not bad. I think this dropped in year two, if I remember correctly. So it was all right. It gave you an extra melee charge, you know, which isn't too bad. But then with the range of the melee charge that you can use with say the Stormcaller build this doesn't seem really that good anymore I mean it's very rare I see people using it I mean I have it and I rarely use it myself so but yeah you know it's like I said if you haven't got it pick it up they weren't bad at the start so you know if you haven't got these they're definitely worth it and the uh, weapon of choice is the Zello Supercell so this is the only arc weapon for year two and three so obviously when Bungie got rid of every elemental damage on primary weapons Zala was the only one that came back in year two with elemental damage so as you can tell it's an AR and this is our projectiles have the chance to chain lightning when enemies are close together double kills with this weapon charge a small amount of super energy and return ammo to the magazine this weapon grows more accurate the longer it's fired so when this gun first came out it was a fantastic weapon to use you know, obviously being at the only elemental weapon available and when you saw it chain to other enemies it was actually quite hilarious to watch so this isn't a bad weapon I mean I still see some people use it in the in the crucible 
Um, this obviously is a weapon that people will use if any nightfall modifiers are on or any strike modifiers are on where it includes arc damage. So, you know, great weapon. But yeah, as of late, because obviously the way Crucible is now, you don't see many people running around with ARs, even less so with the Zalo. Um, but, you know, it's still a good weapon to have for when you're doing, say, any of the PV PvE stuff. So, you know, keep hold of it. Definitely a fun weapon to have. Alright, then we obviously we've got the usual stuff. So we've got glass needles, three of coins, the he heavy ammo synths, and the drives. And then obviously material exchange for your exotic shards and your motor light. Okay, so Bungie did release their update. Um, I think it was later last night or be earlier this morning, depending on when you're seeing this. And the new set of notes said that the next update will be down in the next few weeks. Um, but it has been stated that it will be them balancing the crucible. Um, full notes uh, are on Bungie.net. I'll try and link it in the description below if I can. Um, but yeah, have a read of them, tell us what you think. Um, so this is uh, for this weekend. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Also, for everyone who may not know, it's also Chinese New Year this weekend. And it's the year of the rooster. So have a great Chinese New Year as well. And I will see you all next week. Take care. Bye.